welcome back to another episode of Decentralized Chain. It's Feroz, and in today's episode, we are going to go for a quick tutorial on how you set up MetaMask for the Matic network. Now, if this is the first time you're here and you want to learn more about crypto, whether it's news, insights, or analysis to help you get that edge, start now by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming episodes. And if you get stuck in this tutorial, why don't you come on over and join us in the Telegram channel? Plenty of crypto enthusiasts from novices to pro traders who get stuck anywhere. Feel free to ask a question, no matter how big or small, there's always going to be somebody there who can help you out. Now, as we've seen recently, in a huge surge in projects migrating over to Polygon purely because it's resolving the scalability issues that we currently have in Ethereum today. Transaction fees are almost non-existent in comparison. So you're able to really benefit from some of those DeFi applications that produce great yields farming staking without incurring the cost of high transaction fees, especially if you want to do yield farming on a budget. But in order to do that, you need to be able to connect to the Matic network. And in order to do that, you need to configure MetaMask to be able to get you in there. So in this episode, we are going to go to step one. This is you need to head on over to MetaMask.io. Go ahead and download MetaMask. There's a clip above which shows you exactly how you install MetaMask on your wallet. So make sure you check that if you haven't installed. It. Yeah. Once you've done that, then go ahead and open up MetaMask. You click on the Ethereum mainnet tab at the very top. On that drop down, you go to custom RPC. In custom RPC, you've put in the following details. In the my description below, you will see all of these details that I'm using, of course, so you can copy and paste it in. But first up you have is the network name. So here, what we add in is Matic Mainnet. Second is the new RPC URL. I'm going to use this one. There's two that you can choose from, so up to you which one you want to use in the description below. Then you need to add in the chain ID, which is 137. Once you've done that, you need to add in the currency symbol, which is Matic. Once you've done that, you need to add in the Block Explorer. Now, all the Block Explorer is, is that if you wanted to look at the transaction, you can see it on the Block Explorer, very similar to how Etherscan works, basically, for Matic. Once you've done that, now sometimes you might see an invalid Block Explorer URL. What that means is that there most probably is a space in that URL somewhere. And as you can see here, it's flashing at the end. So one backspace that gets rid of the space. Once that's done, you go ahead and click save. Now you are set up for the Matic network. See, you make sure you're on the drop down here, and therefore that will always make sure you're on there. You might be thinking, well, what about my wallet address? It's the same wallet address that you used when you set up MetaMask on the Ethereum mainnet. So it's exactly the same. You don't need to do anything about that. You can create a new wallet address if you want to. That's up to you. But at the end of the day, it's the same wallet. It kind of makes it a bit easier. And that's it. That's exactly how you set up MetaMask for the Matic Network. If you found this useful, definitely drop a thumbs up. Obviously, if you like the channel, definitely subscribe and I will see you on the next episode.